Hi, I'm Keith Becker with Didi's Rentals. Recently, I achieved a certain sense of notoriety. Imagine seeing this on the front page of the newspaper. The article specifically regards Prop 215 and pot farms as they're being found in residential properties. Like I say, not, not a good idea. Let me tell you why. One, bear in mind these are plants. Plants need light in order to grow. So, you've got tenants and the tenants put in high velocity, high intensity lamps that they're screwing into the ceiling, running extension cords, overpowering your electrical system, sometimes bypassing the breaker panel. Does that sound like a fire hazard? In addition to that, they're plants, they need water. So besides the electrical, you also have the garden hoses and the, and the, the, the hoses running through the house. What happens the first time those hoses burst? Suddenly upstairs in the bedroom where you've got the high intensity lamps and the hoses and the hoses burst, suddenly you've got a mold development. The last thing regarding, regarding what happens with pot farms in your house, imagine that other people get wind of the fact that in this house there's 98 plants and harvest is next week, okay? And you've got tenants and somebody breaks in, somebody busts in because they figure they're going to rob the harvest. You suddenly have a serious threat of violence. How do you address it? There are, there are ways of addressing how to keep pot farms from being cultivated on your property and if you discover them, how to resolve it, how to get your property back to its original condition, consider what you need to do with your tenants, but that's for another subject. For today, don't do it. I'm Keith Becker, this is DD's Rentals.